Google Pixel Book First Look Laptops haven't evolved, Matt Volcan of Google said, as he unveiled the Google Pixel Book at a media event in San Francisco on Wednesday. The Chrome OS-powered Google Pixel Book is fast and secure, the executive said. It's also very compact with 10mm thin body and just 1kg weight. The Google Pixel Book is also the first laptop, he said, to feature Google Assistant, the company's iPad virtual assistant. It also comes with a smart pen. The new Pixel Book sports a 12.3-inch display and comes in three configurations. It starts at $999, with the Pixel Book pen priced at $99. The company says it will start allowing customers to pre-order the laptop starting Wednesday itself. It will go on sale on October 31st. The Google Pixel Book has a 12.3-inch display with Quad HD resolution and 235p pixel density, and supports up to 16GB RAM and up to 512GB SSD. Buyers can choose between Core i5 and Core i7 processor options. It has a 10-hour battery, and uses USB Type-C charger. Its instant tethering feature allows the Chromebook to automatically connect with the internet connection of the user's Pixel phone in the absence of a Wi-Fi connection. You can fold the keyboard underneath. You can use it as a tablet. It's the first convertible laptop that feels natural to use. Whether you want to use this device in classroom, office, or on a plane, this device is for you, Vocount said. Because it also doubles as a tablet, Vocount said. There is a pen to go along with the Google Pixel Book. The pen mimics several features that Microsoft has offered with Surface Pen on its Surface lineup of computing devices. One can quickly take notes using Pixel Book Pen, and also edit photos on Adobe Photoshop. The pen offers the best in the industry 10 miss of latency, 60 degree of angular awareness, and over 2000 levels of pressure sensitive. Even as Chromebooks are gaining traction in the education market and among enthusiasts, the company's own line of laptops are lagging, according to figures from marketing research firms. Google would be hoping to change that this year.